It's a typical social media post that's meant to provoke. The post claims that the Red Cross and hospitals make money off of donated blood because they sell it back to you at a premium if you need a blood transfusion. Well, we went through the numbers and spoke to the experts to find out. Here's the post. It says, Today I learned the Red Cross sells your donated blood to hospitals for $150, and then the hospital charges you thousands for a blood transfusion. Is this true? To find out, we went to the Red Cross, standard transfusion costs from several area hospitals, and Dr. G. Bai, an accounting professor from the Johns Hopkins University Carey Business School. Much of this tweet is true, but it lacks important context. Let me explain. The Red Cross said in a statement, yes, it charges hospitals for blood, but on a cost recovery basis. In a statement, the Red Cross outlined some of those costs. From staffing to testing to equipment to advertising to the storage of blood, it all costs money. But even that fee doesn't cover all the costs of their operation. It only covers about 98.7% of it, according to Red Cross. Now, as far as the cost to a patient for a transfusion, well, that costs money too. Our expert, Dr. G. Bai, says hospitals have expenses. It has to cover the cost of the blood, the pay for the staff to administer it, and a host of other costs associated with getting blood into your veins. So I would say if the hospital charge the same amount as how much they pay for the blood, they're going to go bankrupt. So what does the transfusion run in our area? According to the latest cost charts, MedStar charges around $1,300, George Washington around $1,500, and Inova Alexandria around $1,000. However, there are instances that the hospitals charge a reasonably high, uh, unreasonably high price for the blood as well as other procedures in order to make abnormally high profit. So while that may be the cost of a transfusion in our area, across the country, it's a different story. Adventist Health in Glendale, California, charges $5,500 for a blood transfusion. So yes, the claim in this tweet about the costs of blood and transfusions is true, but it leaves out some of the important context. Now, another note on the Red Cross. A spokesperson said the money charged to hospitals stays within the blood donation space. The work the Red Cross does for disasters, that comes from another revenue stream. With your Verify, I'm Matt Gregory.